reasons El Salvador adopted Bitcoin. Earlier this year, the Republic of El Salvador, which is a country in Central America, announced its decision to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, making it the very first country to do so. In our video today, we will be looking into some of the reasons why the country adopted Bitcoin despite the cryptocurrency's volatility and high risk. Let's begin starting at number one. The president of El Salvador confirmed this year that the country had indeed adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. A reason being that the cryptocurrency was set to alleviate the economic problems of the country. El Salvador's economy was predominantly agricultural and despite the much concentration on agricultural produce, it is still dependent on other countries for food. There is no significant mineral exploitation in the country either and over the years, the country has recorded moderate economic growth. About one half of the Salvadoran population live in poverty and more than one-fourth believe they have to migrate to search for greener pastures. The economy of the country is largely dependent on remittances from abroad. Since citizens have to pay high transactions costs from these remittances, that the economy relies largely on it doesn't augur well for the country. What Bitcoin does is to reduce commissions incurred on these remittances. El Salvador is a highly indebted country and remittances represent more than a fifth of the country's GDP. In 2020 alone, remittances from abroad totaled $5.9 billion. But the fact that the country is primarily sustained by these remittances means that companies facilitating these transfers take considerable cuts for themselves and for the services they offer. Therefore, the adoption of Bitcoin, according to President Nade Bukel, was adopted to alleviate such economic difficulties or the challenges that come with citizens acquiring remittances from abroad. Another major reason for El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin is to improve the financial services of the country. About 70% of Salvadorans don't have bank accounts. The move came as a way of enabling the citizens of the country to transition into the formal economy. Bitcoin is accessible to anyone everywhere provided they have mobile phones. Bitcoin can be sent worldwide for lower transfer fees than what international money offers. In a country where banks are not popularly utilized for the transfer of money, Bitcoin comes as an alternative to facilitate the smooth transfer of funds. The development of a digital wallet called Chivo, which is a Salvadoran slang word for cool, will give a 30 Bitcoin dollar bonus to citizens who download it. The government made an initial purchase of 400 Bitcoins, valued at the time of purchase at $21 million. The wallet had to be taken offline, however, due to technical problems. The Salvadoran government has enacted a law that requires all businesses to accept Bitcoin as payment and has contributed $150 million to a trust to facilitate dollar conversions. It is quite obvious that owing to its new law of accepting Bitcoin as legal tender, the government seeks to encourage the acceptance of Bitcoin. Currently, the country has mined 0.00599, 179 Bitcoin, with power harnessed from a volcano. This comes in line with President Bukel's promise made in June, when he said that he had instructed state-owned geothermal electric company, let GeoSA to CV to facilitate plans to mine Bitcoin, with very cheap 100% clean, 100% renewable, and zero emissions from volcanoes. Despite the seemingly sound reasons, given by the government of El Salvador to include Bitcoin along with the US dollar as legal tender. The country has been divided as to whether it is a positive move and one that will benefit the nation. Thousands of protesters took to the streets in the capital San Salvador, claiming the introduction of Bitcoin will lead to instability and high inflation rates in a country that is already struggling economically. With El Salvador's quest to harness geothermal energy as a source of clean and reliable power for Bitcoin mining. We can only wait and watch to see how the Bitcoin industry in the country will transpire. Thank you for spending time with us again. We appreciate your time and we hope you learned something new. Till we come your way again with more educational facts, enjoy the rest of your time and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video.